The Breath of Fresh Air collaboration is really a collaboration between Gashka, the President's Award, Oberstown and Balbriggan Garda Station. The collaboration came about as a result of ongoing work between ourselves and the, the management team in Oberstown. And specifically, I attended a launch of their last art project in the Irish Museum of Modern Art. And I was struck by the amount of talent that these young people had and all of a sudden when tapped into appropriately could produce such beautiful pieces of art. And I remember there was one piece I just want to take and take home and bring to my own house. And I said, okay, you know, we're, we're trying to work on how the guards engage with young people and particularly young people in difficult circumstances. This is an opportunity for us maybe through art to develop something new uh, and to work on those relationships. The concept of the partnership with Goshka is really important, that preparation for leaving and that it, it, it uh, arms kids for leaving Orbistown, prepares them for the world outside of here and allows them to continue to develop the skills that they de developed in Orbistown beyond and into the community. So there were three specific phases of the projects. First of all, the life patterns piece, then the larger Breath of Fresh Air uh, mural project, which is up in Balbriggan Rugby Club, and then lastly, the outreach piece here. So we, we began the collaboration between Oberstown and Balbrig and Garda Station through a project called Life's Patterns. So we worked with a number of young people are, that are here in Oberstown and then a number of the uh, Garda uh, from Balbrig and Garda Station. We had worked with Narrative 4 through the tool of a story exchange and it's really going back to um, how do we use stories to create a safe space how do we get the young people in Oberstown together with the members of Angarda Siakana from the Balbrig and Garda station in a way that was creative but also um, created a space where they could come together on an even playing pitch if you like. So the guards and the young people participated in that programme and it was, it was quite rewarding some, some of the, um, the topics of conversation that came out of that. We went in and we weren't wearing our uniforms and we just sat down and did, I say they didn't know we were guards at first and then Joe introduced us as guards and they were a bit st standoffish at the start but once they heard our stories, like what we feel passionate about, football, about horses, about grief and they're the kind of things that bring people together. We started with a list and it was a list of symbols and the young people and the guard that you got to pick from that list, list things that meant something to them. Um, so it might have been, you know, one of the lads picked a, a horse because his family had a tradition in horse, in horse racing. Another one picked um, a robin because they had lost a family member and the robin was that, that symbol of them coming back and having a you know, kind of a, a visual presence within their current life. We're talking about things like, I suffered grief in my family, and a lot of the young lads there suffered grief as well. And when I was talking to them and they were talking, you could hear it in their voices and the way they spoke, it was the exact same feelings I felt. And um, I could really understand what they were going through and they probably could understand what I was going through too. The young people and the Gardaí came into a room together and they had to swap each other's drawings, each other's patterns, and they had to take ownership of their story. So one of the young people stood in and spoke on behalf of the, the guard and spoke about his reasons for you know, the, the symbols and the objects that he had in his artwork. And then one of the guards uh, stood into the, the shoes of that young person and spoke about you know, kind of the really important symbols that were, were in their drawing. The big thing I got from meeting the lads is, and hearing their stories, there is just inches apart between, when I was their age, I grew up in a place called Talla, which was working class, and I could have went down that path and ended up in Oberstown myself. I had friends that ended up in Oberstown back in the day. The relationships we have a lot of the time with young people, particularly young people that are involved in crime, Aren't, aren't always really good. And there's a lot, there's some very natural challenges and tensions that exist in that relationship. But sometimes if you're able to get past that and see people as just people, you can build relationships that will, hopefully in the long term, increase our capacity to deal with young people in difficult situations much better. In the early stages, I had my doubts that we could bring guards and young people on Alberstown campus together. 
and um, was quite worried about it, what way it would turn out, but it actually turned out brilliantly in the end. A breath of fresh air was the next step from life's patterns. So we had built this rapport, this relationship, because you have to be, you know, you're, you're, you're asking people or two entities to reconsider how they view each other. So we were asking the young people to view the Gardaí in a different manner, and we were asking maybe the Gardaí to view the young people in a different manner. So we had built up a rapport where they were in the room and they got to speak on each other's experiences. The next step was like, okay, they get to spend time together making, you know, something substantial, something creative. The foundation of good police work is relationships. We can't do our job without having really good working relations with the communities that we serve. And as Irish society gets more complex, those relationships get more complex and we have to make more of an effort to reach out to those communities to let them know we're here to provide them with policing service. And what we have here is one of our guards from Balbriggan reaching her hand out to say, yeah, we're here to provide you with a service. And at the other side of this piece of art, we have the literal hands of some of the community members from Balbriggan and some of the young people in Overstown the people that we're here to serve and we're saying to them, we're here for you, we're here to, to provide you with a service. Uh, that, and th there's a gap because we're not always there yet and relationships are hard, but this is what it is. And when we can look at that and we can talk about it, we can move forward and we can do better with it. So for me, that's what this is all about. The relationship with Goshka is, is hugely important in, in terms of changing the narrative in, in relation to our young people. Our young people have significant capabilities they haven't previously been tapped into, and through this relationship with Gosk, we're, we're able to change that narrative. We're able to change that narrative in the community, in big external events that shines a light on what these young people are capable of. And we think of Town as a place of safe, uh, second chance or a safe haven. The relationship with Gosk reaffirms that, reinforces that, and builds on that education piece, that community piece, and that preparation for leaving. I suppose the young people in Town, what they got out of it was, was a sense that um, that they could be friends with guards and that they don't see them anymore as like an authoritarian type force. They see them as people now rather than as, as guards in the community or guards that are patrolling the streets. Sometimes people believe what they can see and this is an opportunity for the town to see actually we're here for you. We're here to provide you with a service. We're here to support you. That's our job um, and we want to do that. So I'm delighted we had this opportunity. So our goal in Gashka, the President's Award, is really to make the award as, as accessible to as many young people as possible. And often the most harder to reach young people are the ones that need the award the most. And this, this collaboration really allows us to give a voice to those that are often voiceless.